Swimathon Weekend is here. All your hard work over the past few months will have prepared you to hold a fantastic Swimathon event. It's important that the event experience is the same at all 500 plus pools taking part around the country, so check all your marketing material is in place. Make sure all your staff are well briefed on the event. Your team is the face of Swimathon and your centre, and the success of your event is largely dependent on them. OK team, hi, welcome to Swimathon Weekend. The volunteers you've recruited for the day are crucial to a successful event. Hi, I'm here to volunteer as a lap counter. Oh, perfect. Hi, what's your name? Claire Jenkins. Oh, excellent, there you go. Brilliant, thank you very much. Oh, that's a t-shirt for you. Great. Give volunteers an overview of your pool rules and emergency procedures. Allocate roles and responsibilities, and then outline event procedures, such as start process, team rules, swimming direction, and overtaking. The more you support your swimmers, staff and volunteers, the more they'll enjoy the event. The staff members and volunteers you have chosen to be lap counters should be shown which lane they're managing and be given a lap counting card and stopwatch. Each swimmer will set off at slightly different times. Explain to your lap counter that as each swimmer sets off, they need to record the time delay on the lap card. We recommend putting swimmers of similar ability with the same stroke in the same lane and putting teams in different lanes to prevent overcrowding on poolside. Every time they complete two lengths, you mark a cross in the first box and that continues every two lengths they swim. For the team event, only one team member can swim at a time, similar to a relay race. Lap counters must make sure the next team member is ready to start two laps before the current swimmer is due to finish. A team member can only enter the water once, so as soon as they finish their laps and got out of the pool, they cannot get back in again. At the end of each team member's swim, record their overall finish time. Remember to give the swimmers lots of encouragement and keep giving them a regular update on how many lengths they've done and what the time is as well. It's a good idea to have a central clock that is visible to all swimmers and lap counters and to keep backup stopwatches in case of failure. Your swimmers' first impressions of the Swimathon event are from the moment they walk through the front door and reach your welcome desk. It's important to make sure your swimmers and volunteers feel welcome well-informed and well-directed. Set up your welcome desk in a prominent position away from the normal pool reception. Ensure your team at the welcome desk are enthusiastic and friendly and are familiar with answering common questions and queries. Registration should take place 30 minutes before the event is due to start, allowing time for last-minute adjustments if necessary. Hello, Hello. thank you. What's your name? Your welcome team will sign each swimmer in against the session registration sheet. You're going to be in lane one today okay. and you'll be wearing a blue swimming cap. Remember to inform your swimmers that photos of the event may be taken as well, so it's important that they sign the consent form you printed off earlier. If swimmers choose not to sign the consent form, then you must not include them in photos. Now that your centre is set up, your staff are prepared and your lap counters have been briefed, you are ready for your swimmers to come through to poolside. Creating a fun atmosphere will make the event more enjoyable. Make sure your Swimathon CD is playing and an MC is giving announcements. Welcome to Swimathon, the world's biggest swimmer. What would Swimathon be without its swimmers, you guys? Can you come on through? Now you're about to take on the swim of your life, as you know, and your fundraising will support the fantastic work of Marie Curie Cancer Care to help them provide vital care to people with cancer and other terminal illnesses. Thank you to all for entering Swimathon. And let's have a round of applause for Marie Curie Cancer Care before we get going. Marie Curie Cancer Care fundraisers may be able to help out on the day. If you haven't heard from them, call the Swimathon team on 0845 36 700 36. I'd like you to, to thank our, our beautiful poolside assistants here, our lap counters, who are going to be counting your, your every move. Pop into the pool and warm up a little bit. Whilst you're warming up, I'm sure you're all likely to thank your friends and family for, uh, for sponsoring you this year. Uh, last year we managed to raise uh, more than two million pounds for, uh, for Marie Curie and the Summathon Foundation, which is fantastic. The Summathon has been running since 1986 and over half a million people have uh, taken part and taken up the challenge. We've raised over 32 million pounds for charity in that time. Now each of you has chosen to take part in uh, 1.5 kilometres, uh, 2.5 kilometres, or the big one, the 5k. 
which is uh, 200 lengths of a 25 metre pool, which uh, if you can do that is, is an amazing, amazing effort. As I mentioned before, really important this, keep your caps on to help with, uh, with lap counting. And, uh, and finally, and most importantly, really, really enjoy your swim. All that remains for me to do now is to wish you all the very, very best of luck. First two swimmers off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! And we're off! Throughout the Swimathon session, encourage all your swimmers and look after your lap counters. you take every opportunity you can and take pictures of the event. They'll be a great help promoting your centre afterwards and also useful for PR activity on your next swimathon. Got five more metres to go. Four, three, two, one, and he's finished! As our first swimathon finisher at this Dunwich Leisure Centre. As swimmers finish their challenge, ask your lap counters to direct them to your medals table where you can have your 5K and generic distance medals laid out. 5K medals only go to swimmers who complete the individual 5K challenge. Congratulate your swimmers and direct them to refreshments if they are provided. Your session is over. Your swimmers have done their best and now they'll want to know their result. It's therefore very important you upload your results straight away. There are a number of ways you can submit the results from your session. The easiest way is to log on to your pool pages on www.swimathon.org and enter the results online. As part of the Swimathon terms and conditions, you agree to submit results one hour after the session has taken place. Alternatively, you can email your results to info at swimathon.org, call 0845 36 700 36 and give them to us over the phone or even fax back your registration forms with the results section. By doing this immediately after the event, you avoid any customer disappointment, allowing your swimmers to find out their results earlier, which is very rewarding after swimming such a challenge. The most important thing is to have fun, but these key points will help you to deliver a successful swimathon event. Set up your welcome desk in a prominent position, create an exciting atmosphere, encourage all your swimmers, and remember to enter your results. It's one of those events that's really captured the imagination of people around the country. It's really made a difference to how they see swimming.